Hi guys, welcome back to another Apex Racing Academy basic track guide tutorial. Alex Simpson in the Mercedes AMG GT3 at Donington National this week. Great little combo. Um, Going to be a lot of fun. Difficult to overtake, I think, um, but still a lot of fun to um, to race. So um, it uh, makes a change not to have to run the uh, the Grand Prix layout actually. Um, right, without further ado, let's take you through a um, half-speed uh, lap around Donington. So, all important on your qualifying lap, um, this is with race fuel on, I might point out, but just to um, avoid the sausage curb on the left here, use the one on the right, but avoid that one on the left. This will give you a good run um, into um, into the, the any hot laps that you do, so do that for qualifying. And I'm not really using it in the race either. So just find that it's a better line just to use the right hand one only. Um, coming into turn one, use the blue area end of um, as your break in point. Keep a couple of wheels over to the left hand side. We're going for a late apex here. Down into uh, third gear. Wait until we pick up that um, inside curb before we get onto the gas. If you've got the late apex right, it's pretty much should be just flat out coming out of there. If um, the car pushes out too wide, then you're apexing too early. Down through... Um, Craner curves, keep to the right hand side before switching back to the left, I'm having a little lift, it's more so I can get the car lined up for the braking, it's just after the marker that we saw there on the left, down into fourth gear and then swing it across to the right, try not to take any of the gravel on the inside, it'll throw you out a little bit wide and we just got away with it on this particular lap, um, I just took a little bit too much but through um, old hairpin should be flat out coming out of there, no problem, all the way up this section. And then we're just having a little lift here just to keep the car over to the left for our braking for um, for this right hander. Again, third gear, late apex there. And again, we want that late apex so that we can just power out of this corner up the hill. Um, braking about two thirds of the way up the um, up the hill here, down again into third gear. Just taking the uh, curbing on the right hand side and keep the car tucked into the right. If the car is already bleeding out wide, it's just taking a bit too much speed in, which means that you're not going to be able to be as aggressive on the gas pedal on the way out. So ultimately, you might gain a bit of time initially, but you'll lose time by the time you reach the end of the straight and you'll be vulnerable for people making an overtake. Look for the door on the left hand side as a good break in point down again into third gear like I said we want to tuck our, uh, our right hand side just onto that sausage curb avoid the one on the left and that gives you the ability to sort of power out through that corner and all the way to the start finish line alright guys hope um, that um, helped as always if you want the advanced take a look at the advanced um, ones then uh, you can find those on the Apex Racing Academy forum I think once we've built a few more up we'll actually be opening the advanced track guys as a independent section that you can come and grab so keep an eye out for for that um soon but i've posted the information on setups and things like that already in the uh, community area so by all means come and grab that and the data packs from there and um and yeah and get testing those are race these are race laps um that we're sharing not qualifying ones by the way so this is race fuel um race setups everything so um, yeah, it'd be uh, good to compare. So hopefully that helps you in the long run. Any questions? As always, post in the YouTube video or on the forum, be it the uh, the iRacing one because I know these videos are shared on the Blanc Pan threads now, or on the Apex Community uh, forum. And uh, I help you out as best as I can. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a lot of fun, and I'll see you next week.